Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to gray out unused areas of an Excel worksheet. The four methods covered in this video are using a background color for unused cells, hiding the unused rows and columns, reducing the size of unused cells, and using the page break preview. To color the unused rows and columns gray, start by selecting the header of the first empty column. Then press Ctrl Shift and the right arrow on your keyboard. Next, head up to the home ribbon and click the drop down arrow next to the fill color icon. Then select any shade of gray. To jump back to the table, press Ctrl and the left arrow. Now select the first empty row. Then press Ctrl Shift and the down arrow on your keyboard. With all the empty rows selected, head back up to the ribbon and click the fill color icon. Then press Ctrl and the up arrow to jump to the top. Now, all the unused rows will be colored gray. A simple method to remove unused rows and columns is to hide them. To do that, select the empty columns, then go to Format in the Home ribbon. Now go to Hide and Unhide, and then select Hide Columns. Next, select the unused rows. Then head back to Format. And go to Hide and Unhide, then select Hide Rows. To undo the process, simply select all the cells in your worksheet, and then unhide the rows and columns. Another way to hide unused areas is to set the cell's width and height to zero. Start by selecting the empty columns. Then click on Format in the Home ribbon, and select Column Width from the drop-down. Now set the value to zero, and then hit OK. Next, select the empty rows. Then click on Format again, and this time select Row Width from the drop-down. Set the value to 0, and hit OK. In the desktop version, you can gray out the unused areas by switching to Page Break Preview. To do that, head up to the View tab, and then select Page Break Preview. Although quick and simple, this solution results in the page numbers being displayed over the cells, which may cause a problem. But you can also use third-party add-ons for the desktop version to easily gray out the unused cells. To learn how to do that, please visit our dedicated guide in the comments. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful. Check the description for additional links and resources. And leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.